I think what's just shocking is that it's who it happened against. The team that is the worst in the league. The Leafs truly are the better team. It would just stay more positive than negative. They get to reload tomorrow night, obviously, yeah. against Ottawa. The Leafs are coming off a terrible loss to the Sens, the worst team in the NHL. Up to now, our season's been going pretty well. But sometimes, games like this are a good wake-up call. Morning, fellas. Like every day when you come off of a loss, you got to come in with lots of spirit to be ready to, to do the work, make adjustments, and bounce back. Obviously, we don't like the results that we got defensively. I need just to understand that the opposition is going to make it hard and us not adjusting to it. That's our job. Every day, to give ourselves a chance to win through the structure. It was such a devastating loss. It was just a reminder for us that we have a ways to go with the consistency uh, that we're looking for. Also goes to show just how fragile it is. You can build up something great and then it can fall apart quickly. It leads to lots of questions, lots of doubt. All right, fellas, let's have a good one here. Thank you. Hey, man. Just shut the door. Um, so I, I just wanted to talk to you about where your head is at. I play, I don't, I don't know how many, maybe 11 minutes, around 11 minutes, but... Sure. If I play every game, I feel yeah. confident of in course. myself. Yes. We play, play one or two games and start it down. You're playing very well. I don't look at you and say, you have to have so many points or anything like that. What happens during a year is you have players who, whether their time, their, their ice time is, is diminished a little bit, they feel their role is diminished a little bit, and they feel themselves not as, as much a part of the team. Rather than have Sheldon, the coaching staff, deal with all of that, I feel that there are times when I have to take some of that off of the plate of the coaching staff and really let the player know organizationally where they sit. You are making a big impact on the game, even when you aren't scoring. Whether you play 10 minutes or 20 minutes, or usually right in between, you know, you're a very, very important player to the team. And for, for me, for Sheldon, for everybody, I just don't want you to get yeah, your mind off track by last night. So, because you, you're doing lots of great things for the team, and you're a key member of a team that's first place in the NHL. To me, that's, that's, a, that's a great thing to be, okay? Yeah. Okay. Any anything else? Vent all you whatever you need to to let out. Let it out. No, I'm, I'm good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank, thank you. You got it. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. We'll just start with some of that isolated shooting. So we'll get you to catch it. Inside this weight shift, here, back to me, back to you, shot. Okay. I was told last night that John Taveras wanted to skill skate with me. The biggest thing was trying to expand the range that he could shoot the puck off the pass. Once a hockey player turns 30, the clock starts ticking faster. But changing up your game can help slow the hands of time. As I continue to get older, that the league always is evolving and expecting maybe what was giving you success five, six years ago. Nice. I think okay. as the game progresses, you have to look to, to make uh, adaptations as well. Okay, this time when that puff's coming, let's really try to fire your lower body. What we've seen so far early in the season is that John started off the year really well and then is kind of, to me, is lacking the confidence offensively that he usually has. And so I think your mind always thinks, if he doesn't come out of this, what is the long-term effect going to be on our team? John Tavares was a sought-after free agent. In 2018, Dubas hey. pried him away from the Islanders for $77 million. It was a dream come true for Leafs Nation and him. Haters called him Pajama Boy. Everyone keeps saying pajamas, but it was, uh, it was bed sheets. That got a lot more uh, attention than I expected. We were so stoked to get the star center, we made him captain. Oh, congratulations on becoming the 25th captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Well, that's a whole bunch of surprise. <laughs> all good. You're in all this. Say it, Steve. <laughs> You're in all this. Yeah, you all must have been killing our inside. It's one of the most special days of not just my career, but my life. Being a captain, it's got a tremendous responsibility. The belief was that this blue chipper would be the one to finally bring us the cup. Yeah, there it is, there it is. 
Johnny is one of the most dedicated guys to his craft you'll ever meet. When you go to the back end, he has to reach over. Yeah, he has to. I can pull it for you. We play on a line together. This year, I think we have had uh, some ups and downs where we've been going really good and then not so good. And I know that we have the chemistry, and when we're both playing really well, we're really dangerous out there. <laughs> Skills, baby.